They're the fastest mud racing vehicles on the planet, traversing a 200-foot long track, looking to best a national record of 2.284 seconds. It could happen today, right here on the World of Trucks, coming at you. It's the 20th anniversary of the Four Wheel Jamboree coming to you today from the Allen County Fairgrounds in Lima, Ohio. Hello everyone, I'm Claude Wood. Welcome to this edition of the World of Trucks. And coming up today, it's drag racing, but not on asphalt. This will be the Class 6 mud drags. And over the past couple of days, Lima, Ohio has been deluged with a lot of rain. So the consistency today of the track is very muddy. Well, it is mud drags after all, but that will present a lot of problems itself. Very sticky. The Class 6 mud drags, well, they use paddle tires. So now, with more on what makes up a Class 6 dragster, let's go to Doc Riley. Thanks, Claude. Class 6 Unlimiteds at NMRO competition. You can really have a blank piece of paper here and do exactly what you want to do as the driver. We're going to see two great uh, examples of that. Just basically about the class. You have the Veritrax up front right here. Nice looking 27 Roadster Chad Miller. He's got the big block Chevrolet with the little field blower on there. And this, again, in this class, you can use any type of cubic inch. There's no limitation. You can use them putting nitrous oxide on it. The real signature on this, the scooper tires. These are big. More on that in just a second. This is a front engine situation on the very back of this vehicle. I can tell you one thing that really comes back out. We've seen a number of winners that have had the rear engine to it. This is a rear engine Hemi over here. And again, a lot of the similar situations. He's got the cut tires right here, modified right here, so that gives him a little bit more forward bite than the other one that comes back in. Of course, his office right here where he does all of his work with all the latest safety features, but you look back here, the Hemi power right here, again, for safety, you've got the blower guards on there. These guys are ready to rock and roll. And finally, the signature telling tale of what a Class 6 vehicle is, all about the scooper tires designed to grab hold and launch you off that starting line. This may be one of those things we don't know much about here at Lima. We've had soupy conditions, wet and muddy conditions. We'll see what the starting line holds in store for all of these Class 6 competitors. Thanks, Doc. Let's get immediately to the action. That will feature Scott Snarsky driving the Paperboy Express, a Ford 588 cubic inch engine. Joining me in the booth today, expert analyst Griff Allen, and Griff, he will face David Chick. And you know what? It's a good chance to see who's going to be able to read the track the best. And that's going to be the name of the game all weekend long. Remember now, it's just a matter of who gets the lowest ET. First one across the finish line makes no difference in NMRO drag racing. The side-by-side -side format is strictly for fan appreciation. We also issue a prize for the best reaction time. Let's look at our first pair. You can see a struggle in the near lane to keep it in bounds and the failure to do so. Kept it on four wheels though, but I'll tell you, David Chick just showed you that it's not as easy as it looks. And he took quite a while to stage there, Griff. What was that all about? Well, each competitor has the option of different power configurations, nitrous oxide, supercharged, using alcohol, methanol. And you want to make sure all that is right before you launch. You also want to try to avoid going out of bounds like we do see here. And then also, you got to be ready that the brakes are ready as well. You need a lot of them to get woed down here. The old paper boy delivers yet another one. Pretty good pass. Yeah, we had a good happy pass there. The car's running good this year. Uh, between class five and class six, the track any better? Uh, I think it's hooking a little better now. It's getting tackier. You had it to do again. What would you do different? Uh, nothing this time. <laughs> Perfect. Good run. Uh, two, six, one, two. Thanks. Thank you. And that will bring up the former points champ, Mike Lane, driving the wicked sensation. And of course, Griff, he's looking to repeat that same performance this year. In fact, and uh, Mike brings it every single time. And uh, he's, of course, got the Keith Black engine. Keith Black, especially known for what he can do to a Hemi. Uh, he's laid his hands upon it, so we know we got power there. Mike Malrath in the other lane in the real estate mover is going to try to move some real estate. Remember, the cars go forward by ejecting large amounts of mud backwards. 
Again, reaction time of no consequence. Wheels in the air off of the left lane and a tough time that Mike is having trying to get that machine sorted out. And Claude, take a look one more time in replay just how much horsepower that Mike Lane is wrestling with. You can see that right away he's got to start issuing corrections to try to keep the machine in line. It wants to go nose up, it wants to straight to the left. They got a locked rear end, but sometimes it's got a mind of its own. And the last thing that you ever want to do is get sideways in a vehicle that's this narrow. It's all about the fun, the excitement. Boy, you had a great launch, even went wheels up at the other end. Uh, it looked like it was a great pass. Well, it was pretty good. Hopefully the track will go away and that'll hold up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's Lima, so it's all going to change within a matter of minutes. But right there, right. anything, was it good off the starting line for you? Yeah, it's got a lot of hook now. Uh, like I said, hopefully they'll blow that all out of there so it'll slow down, hopefully. But our uh, track's perfect right now. 24-38. Hopefully that'll hold up. But, you know, here how it goes. Right? Wait and see. Was that kind of in the neighborhood that you thought maybe you'd turn? Uh, it would be a little faster. be all right, you know. But, you know, Tim and them guys are back there, so... We'll be close. Thanks, Doc. World of Trucks is being brought to you by Stainless Steel Brakes. Performance brakes built right by Stainless Steel Brakes. And by Lund. Get the look. We'll be back.